Hello and welcome to a new series and this is a bit of a different one. This is a series about how I make money on Football Manager. As you may be aware from the Red Star series, we're currently sitting on about 40 million which I think is pretty nice. We've got a nice transfer budget and it's just way above what the league is expecting. You know, the other clubs just can't compete with us on budget. So I want to try and help players like you. I want to help you gain financial control over your club. I want you to become better players and be able to spend more money and just basically not bankrupt a club really. So what this episode is all about is signing players and then sending them out on loan and you can make a lot of money from this. Now I read an article recently, I will link it in the description which has sort of inspired me to do this. I read it and started experimenting with it at the start of this season. If you've been watching the Red Star series this is literally the end of the fourth season. I've just gone on a few more days to a crucial part of the plan. Now if we look at my transfer history and we have a look at loan deals you can see we've made three and a half million off loans this season and that's because we loan players out with a fee and they're paying a fee monthly to own that player and sometimes you can get players on loan for more than they're actually worth as a transfer let's take Ivan Kapulak for example he's been loaned out for 40k per month he's only valued at 115,000 so he's just making so much money off his actual value which is incredible Similar things might happen to this guy, Moen. He's been loaned up for 50k a month, but he's only valued at 625, so that's a lot of money we can make off him over the course of a season. So this kind of planning can really help you make money and just puts it back into the into the finances. And then this kind of money you can reinvest in getting some better players, which you can loan out for even more money. So this is where it's all going to start for you. The best way to do this is by getting young players. You're typically looking at players who are aged between 20 and 23. That's the kind of age when they're starting to make first team appearances and they're going to be worth a lot of money and have a lot of potential. So what I like to do, first of all, right at the end of the season, clubs release youth players and, you know, why not have a little look at them? So all we're going to do is click on the tick, press Control a just to select everyone and uh, scout all players, but I'm already scouting them actually. These are the top top players that have left, so they should be the best. Really, you wouldn't have to go into the view players and have a look at them. I mean, obviously, you can do if you want. Maybe if you know a team that have decent youth players and they've been producing a lot of players, you might want to scout them out. However, if they're not really on that list, I wouldn't bother too much. However, I know Rad makes some good players, so I'll scout this guy, see if he's any decent. We know that Borak, they've got some good players. If you press Shift and then click, it just selects the players in between who you've selected so we'll scout these five from Borak and we'll have a look at these Spartak players as well just to see what goes on. We'll get some reports back in the next few days on them and if they're any good you might as well just try and sign them. As you can see from these reports though none of them are very special. Ideally you want to be looking at the current ability more than potential if you loan them out. I have found that players who have a two star current ability are much more likely to go out on loan than a one and a half star however it does depend on what league you're in it depends on your reputation it depends on it there's a lot of variables however I've noticed that players with two star current ability are much more likely to go out on loan so try and look for that because that means because they've got two star current ability they're obviously better for first team football whereas a player with one star is less likely to get first team football and what's the point in paying for them on loan so that's what you've got to think of. You've got to think from another team's perspective about what you'd want from a loan. If you were loaning a player and you are going to pay for it, what would you want for it? If you operate on a bit more of a budget, a good place to look is the youth leagues in your country. Now I'm right at the end of the season now so I can see all these stats from players. So I can have a look at the player stats. I can look who's scored the most goals, I can scout those players. I can see who's got the most assists, I can scout those players. You can sort of tailor it to the type of player that you want. This guy, for example, he got the highest rating in the under-19 league, 7.4 overall. Pretty decent, especially from 21 games, so we'll give him a scout, see what's going on. He's worth a bit of money, so you may have to pay a little bit for him. Because he's under a certain age, I can offer him a contract if I want to. However, compensation-wise, that's nearly £300,000, which I don't particularly want to pay. So you're better off inquiring about them, offering a bit less money. He's only worth two two thousand pounds, so it's worth having a little look at that kind of thing. Especially if you can get some good deals there. Especially if you've got a team that have a higher reputation than the other teams around you, the youth players are more likely to want to join you as well. Then if you've got even more money, 
a good place to look at in the 21s and in the 19 international squads. As you can see, a lot of these players are fairly reasonably priced for being under 21 players internationally. There's a few that are quite expensive. I mean, there's no point really trying to get those to loan them out because they're probably already established first team players in some good clubs. But if we look at players like this guy, he's worth 70k, he might be a look at 68k, he might be alright. Even players going up to about 175k. If you can get a good price for them, and they're decent enough, they can go on loan for a lot of money, especially as they've got youth caps, because that's a real incentive for teams to get them on loan, because it means they've got a lot of potential, and they'll improve a lot while they're at that club. Once you've found someone that you like the look of, for example, this guy here, he's got one and a half star current ability, but with further scouting, it could be two star. We don't know yet. So what you want to do is just scout the player further till you get some full knowledge of him. If he looks good enough, has two star current ability, has a bit, bit of decent potential, he's got international youth caps, he kind of fits that bracket of the player that we want and we'll make money if we send him on loan. So that's this is the guy that we potentially could sign. Now we've come to the 1st of July and people's contracts have now come to an end and they've been released. The best thing to do now is literally sift through the release players. So we'll search for these top players that have been released from Serbia. But you can always go to other leagues such as uh, Premier, the Premier Division. Go to transfers look at release players you can see they were all released a couple of days ago so it's worth just having a little look through and seeing what you can get so it's now the 1st of July everyone's come back from loan we've got a few guys who have come in from free transfers at the end of their contract and what we're going to do is just try and loan them out now this chap here he's a goalkeeper we brought him in on a free transfer He's not going to play. He's not. He's not a first choice goalkeeper. He was really brought in just for this purpose. So what we're going to do is go to offer to clubs, go to loan. I reckon this chap could get up to 100k in a monthly fee. You also want to put your your wages up to 100%. That way you're making pure profit off these players, off these monthly fees. So we'll offer him to a club. What will happen is clubs may come in from at that price. However they may just ignore it. So then at that point, what you do is you go back, put it back to 100% wages, and then just take the price down a little bit. However, we've been quite lucky here. A lot of clubs have come in for him. Braga and Bastia reject them because they're not 100k. What this does mean is perhaps we could have offered a little bit more money for him, but 100k per week at 100% wages is quite fantastic, really. Now, another thing you can do is this player, Nikola Kukic, he's been on loan the past few seasons. If you have a look, He's been on loan, but his fee's going down, actually, because he's just not improving much as a player. So you can either offer him again on loan for a higher fee, but in this case, some clubs have bid for him. They're asking for a bit of money, and I think it's probably worth it and say, yeah, why not? Let's just let him go. It's important not to get stuck in the loop of thinking you have to loan players out. If they're really not going to improve and they're not getting as much money as you think you can for them, just let them go. So we've come right to the end of the transfer window now. And as you can see, we've made 14 million, nearly 15 million, off loaning players out this season. And that money will trickle in over the season. So you don't get as a lump sum, it just comes in month by month, which is pretty nice. We're getting over a million a month in transfers, which is fantastic. So I'm really happy with how we've we've done this this season. We've got two players out for £200,000, which is pretty decent. Pavkov's out for £150,000 per month. You know, we've got a few players actually over 100k per month, which is making us a lot of money. I think generally the loan's about 10 months long, maybe, I don't know. So, you know, these are upwards of a million pounds from each player, which is fantastic. So I'm very, very happy with the way we've done this. What I'll do now, though, for the rest of the season, while I look for players for next season to sign so we can get more players out on loan, is I'll create a new scouting assignment. So what you do is just go to a scout. We're looking for hot prospects, any position, inform chief scout. I put the current ability to 2, and I change this to youngest of 18, highest of 23, and uh, have at least 3 star potential on there. And then what I'd like to do is get my Chief Scout, who's got the best stats really, so Derek Langley here, he's got 17 current ability, 20 potential. We select him, confirm, and then just start the assignment, and that's how I like to look for players. So I hope this video has helped you. If it has, make sure you drop a like on this, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you next time. So, if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like, 
subscribe to the channel and if you're feeling really nice maybe click on some of these to watch a few more videos. I'll see you next time.